Ever wanted to make your very own snazzy digital stickers to send to your friends and family? That's exactly what we'll be doing today. Doesn't that sound fun? We'll be using the Procreate iPad app for this activity. Create a 512 by 512 pixel canvas. This is the size of a typical sticker. Too big, and you'll run into the problem of too large a file size. Alternatively, we can size down our artwork later. If you're creating your sticker from an existing artwork, just import it onto the canvas. Make sure that it fills up most of your canvas, since we don't want a sticker that's too tiny. Let's get started by heading to the canvas settings and turning on Animation Assist. This is Procreate's animation feature, which brings up the timeline on the bottom of the screen over here. To create some simple changes such as blinking of the eyes, you can duplicate the frame and start editing. In Procreate, each layer or layer group will form one frame. Selecting a frame will result in the matching layer or layer group being selected, and vice versa. To speed up the process, you may even make use of features such as transform and copy and paste while editing each frame. It may be helpful to start with the keyframes to outline the main movement. Later, we'll add more frames, the in-betweens, to make the animation smoother. Again, to make the process of creating this simple animation faster, we can copy, paste and transform parts of the image as we edit the frames. Feel free to experiment with your drawing as you go along. You may make changes on separate layers in order to test them out. This also makes it easier to copy and paste them onto other frames if needed. From time to time, replay your animation to check how it's coming along. If required, adjust the frame rate by tapping on the settings button located on the right side of the timeline. The more frames per second, the more frames you will have to draw, but the smoother the animation will be. What if we want a repeating action? Since we are creating just a short animation, this can be achieved in Procreate by duplicating the required frames. Open the layer panel. As mentioned above, the layers are synced to the frames. It may be helpful to name your layers systematically, as shown. Select all the required layers that form the repeating action. Drag them onto the canvas and release when a green plus sign is seen. Rearrange the duplicated layers as necessary. Carry on with any other edits until you're satisfied with your very own animated sticker. As you may have noticed, this particular canvas is not the right size for a sticker. Let's fix that now. You may want to create a copy of the original file first, just in case you want to go back to it. Open the canvas settings and choose Crop and Resize. Resize the canvas such that it is now a square with a width of 512 pixels or larger. Shift the square to contain the desired part of your image. Remember to fill up most of the canvas. Save this square canvas, then enter crop and resize mode a second time, this time. Ensure that the resample canvas option is toggled on. Enter the height and width of 512 pixels. Maybe even add some text there. You can use the text tool or write your own. Once you are done with the artwork, export it as a GIF or video. Upload this to your favorite WhatsApp sticker maker app or any other platform on which you'd like to share them. Thanks for watching.
Now it's time for you to create your own stickers.